Well, hello, all of you beautiful people out there in Minecraft land. How are you today? I am fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. My name is Vid, and welcome back to another very exciting episode on the Igniter SMP server. And check out all of these villagers over at my spawn area. I actually turned off the villager breeder quite some time ago. But for some reason, there are still a lot of villagers here. But that's good because I think I want to do something with villagers in this episode. But first, I have something else to do. Earlier this week, I was invited onto the private server of one of my good Minecraft friends. And, well, this is how that went. Welcome! Hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Cringy Girl. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Ah, uh, fantastic. Thanks for asking. That's great. Can I show you something epic? I, always, of course. Okay. Yeah, you're going to need these. Is this your hardcore world by any chance? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Like, I'm on the hardcore world. Ah! Yeah, oh, man. my God. <laughs> Okay, I might have fangirled just a little bit. Anyway, if you want to see that video that Cringy made, feel free to check that out. It is in the description down below, as well as a card uh, at the top of the screen right there. There should be a button you can click and check that out. Uh, you can check that out and see my reaction, as well as the reactions of all of the other people that he invited to his server. Now, I promise I am not going to spend this whole episode working on the golden egg hunt the same as I did in the last episode, but I couldn't help notice that our good buddy Skunk Monkey and creator of this game actually decided to jump in, and he found the egg that I hid at the end of last episode, and as far as I'm concerned, it was a hard one. Now, I am not going to show you where I hid that egg, but if Skunk Monkey uh, recorded it, then you can see it in his video. But what I wanted to show you is where I uh, found the egg this week. You see, I, I just couldn't help myself. I just was snooping around and I came over to uh, Dior over here and well, yeah, there it is right there, golden egg. So I'm just gonna take that and maybe uh, put it on the wall or put my name on the wall anyway. VidMC and hit that with a little bit of glowing because yes, I have located the egg one more time and now I am in the lead, and I know as soon as I post this uh, on uh, our private Discord that uh, Indy Alien Jones is probably going to come along and, uh, and, and swipe the egg again. So I better find a good place for it. And I think I found a good one hiding right down there. Uh, hopefully nobody finds that one, uh, but uh, if they do, uh, then you'll see this clip. <laughs> and if they don't, well then uh, I'll have to cut this one out of my episode. And now it's time to move on to something a little bit different. In fact, this is the thing I was talking about earlier in the episode when I was discussing doing some stuff with villagers. And of course, I have to uh, sail past that little thing because uh, I don't want to get attacked by any guardians while I'm moving over here. But I do have to show you this little thing that I built right over here. Right over here, I have a beautiful little uh, station that I can dock my boat on, and uh, I'm going to show you what's in this shulker box in a couple minutes. But the whole idea is I need to grab some villagers, bring them over here, and then see if I can unlock a great villager trade. So the way we do that is jumping into this pit of villagers. We put our boat down somewhere around here, and then we just kind of wait for somebody to volunteer. Come on, sir. You want to volunteer? There you go. And then we jump in the boat and we sail right through here. All right. So this should be easy. Pop the villager out of the boat. Make sure that the villager doesn't get hit when I do that. And then I'm going to place this composter down and hopefully he will pick up the trade. Now, what I'm looking for is a very specific thing. I'm looking for uh, not this. <laughs> what I want is the carrot and potato trade. So I'm going to continuously cycle this and see if I can get myself that special carrot and potato trade. Uh, there's one of them, not all of them. And there it is, potatoes and carrots after about, uh, well, five or six cycles. That actually didn't take me long at all. And here is what's in the magic shulker box. I have, of course, carrots and potatoes that I can trade. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of those. And let's trade with this guy until we have exactly what we need. So the first unlock is there, the pumpkin trade. So now we have potatoes, carrots, pumpkins, and if you know what I'm looking for here, uh, <laughs> that's going to be in the second row. So let's see if I can just unlock this guy's trades completely. 
You should see the little purple particle saying that he's unlocked something. And there it is, the melon trade. So this guy is now a superstar trader and he is going to be moved up to the casino. And of course, I'm gonna need somewhere to keep these guys. And that's why I've built myself a little miniature villager trading hall right down here. So you might uh, you might recognize this design. This is exactly the same design that I always use. In fact, it's even being used in Trader's Haven right now. The villagers themselves will stand on top of these pistons right here. And then I have uh, some levers hidden below these trap doors in front that will actually drop the pistons down and then will expose them to the little mini guy that's going to be hidden back here. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, wh where's the little mini guy and how are you going to get that guy? Well, that's why I have this little platform out behind me. You see, I have built this long little platform here and I even have a spawning platform at the very end. And if I press my H key to open up mini HUD, you will see that in the top left corner, I am right now in the biome of mushroom fields, which means nothing will spawn here. In fact, nothing can spawn inside the casino because this whole island is a mushroom island. And in, in case you didn't know, no mobs will spawn on a mushroom island. But if I go out far enough, you can actually see now I'm in the deep ocean biome and that's why I've built this platform out here. You can see it has a zero light level, well, except for the 15, which is the skylight level, but the red number is the important one here. And that means that when it gets dark, this will be the perfect place to spawn some monsters. And I'm hoping to spawn a zombie that I can then name tag and get to follow me into the magical spot over there. So now we just have to wait for that little magical sun there to dip below the horizon so that it gets dark and then the mobs will start to spawn. And there we go. After almost waiting all night, we finally got a zombie to spawn. We did have a creeper spawn at one point, but uh, that is not the mob we want. This is the mob we want. And now hopefully he stays on this path and we can get him right into the little chute. I've got a little intricate setup here, so this is gonna be kind of cool. So once he gets past this little area, he's got nowhere to go but to follow me down this chute. So hopefully, we can just uh, lure him. Come on in, come on in. There we go. And then I get up here, flip this trap door so he can't come through, and then flip this trap door so he can't go back. And now he's trapped, trapped forever. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. And uh, you get a little bit of a silence name tag as well. There. Now you won't even make any sound. <laughs> and now I can seal this whole thing up. Uh, and we never have to worry about it again. All right. And time now once again to get this little dude into a boat and uh, send him over to what I have prepared over at the casino. Let's give him a little nudge. And there he is right in the boat. And I can start sailing him away. And hopefully, once I get about 32 blocks away from his workstation, the previous workstation that is, he will lose sight of the workstation and he'll be able to collect another one. Ah, oh, gotta love rain in Minecraft, right? And so I have prepared another one of these stations, very similar to the one on the island. Now I can uh, break this boat, but just before I do, I want to show you a little trick here because the whole idea is I'm going to have to get this villager to come down this tunnel and he is going to touch this water stream right here and get shot all the way up to the top. But the question is, how am I going to get him to walk in here? Uh, most people would just kick him out of the boat and then they'll kind of shove him around and try to push him down this tunnel and then he'll backtrack and try to go back in the boat. And this is why people hate working with villagers because they don't know the proper tricks. So here's something that will actually help with his AI. So down here at the end of this tunnel, I've actually carved out a little bit of a gap just past where the water elevator is. And I'm going to drop a composter right in there. That composter is now within 32 blocks of the villager and he should see it and want to get to it. So he's going to walk down here and try to get to that composter all on his own without any real difficulty whatsoever. And just to prove it, watch this. I'm going to kick him out of the boat. There we go. And now go on, sir. Get to that composter. Well, he might make a liar out of me just because it is raining and dark and night. And uh, yeah, villagers don't like it at night. So I can coax him down here a little ways with this bed, which is nice. But uh, now I can break the bed and he'll go right through. And there he is. 
At the top of the bubble column there, we have our villager who's been pushed over to this glass block where he's waiting to be picked up by a minecart. So all I gotta do, and I love this little setup here, is pass a minecart down this track. It's gonna turn, it's gonna go down, it's gonna go under, and then it's gonna bounce off that black back wall there and come up through this glass, picking up the villager, and then he'll be shot back along this track. And he should be brought right over into my villager trading hall. So let me just show you where all of these rails go right here, around the corner, and into this area where the zombie's waiting for him. Well, not really. I've got the zombie more, more or less contained by trapdoors and whatnot. Uh, but this setup is what I wanted to show you. I've used this multiple times before. And again, one of those reasons why people hate working with villagers is because they can never get them contained the way they want. But look how easy this is going to be. The villager will come along here in the minecart. He'll turn, he'll hit this activator rail. And because there's a trapdoor right over it, and this trapdoor, by the way, is at the second block height. So it's not above, it's, it's actually uh, right above this activator rail the villager will be kicked out of the minecart to the right into this square right here and he won't be able to get out because he's trapped by a slab this way by a slab this way by a block this way and this trapdoor here is just at head height for the villager he won't be able to get out but of course as a player i could just walk right under it which is kind of cool easy to demonstrate and easy to do so let's send a minecart away got a minecart in my inventory right here this minecart is away and it's gonna go now pick up that villager come back and do exactly what I said there it goes minecart goes through and boop right off into the perfect place and he is now ready to accept his role as a farmer and now we just need to repeat that process three more times so that we can get a total of four farmers up in the top of the casino and after a little bit of trading here is superstar villager number two with all four of the trades that I want so let's get him in a boat up and at him. Go on. Zip. And now with dude number three, we've run into a little bit of a problem because we have the potato and the carrot trade, but uh, his second round of trades don't include the pumpkin trade. And well, unfortunately, that will not do. And so you're going to have to have a little bit of a lava bath. Sorry about that, dude. And there we go. Got another dude that is a superstar. We got the potatoes, we got the carrots, we got the pumpkins, we got the melons. Straight in. And alley-oop. And there we go. Super lucky with the fourth guy as well. And as the sun goes down and the moon comes up, we have our fourth dude ready to be transported into the casino for his final destination. Sounds bad when I say it that way. And there he goes. Right in and one quick look before up he goes. <laughs> And now comes the easy part, because all I have to do is put the minecart in place, send it off, and then before it comes back with another dude, I just have to get my uh, redstone torch out, and then put it right there to activate the second spot, and over he goes, and boop, right into the right spot, and we just repeat the same process. All right, let's take a quick break because something is bugging me. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Indy Alien Jones has found the egg that I hid, and now we are tied. So Indy has four, and I have four. So I guess, uh, well, there's just one thing I need to do. Aha! Doop, doop. Five hours later. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. That little purple guy again? Now it's tied at five. Uh, ooh, you sneaky little boy. So that would be five for Indy Alien Jones and six for Vid MC. And that, my friends, is where I am going to end this episode. And if you enjoyed watching this episode, I would really appreciate you clicking that like button. And if you haven't done so already, I also highly encourage you to subscribe to this channel. And hey, while you're subscribing to channels, why don't you check out the links of all of the other Igniter members in the description down below. You can subscribe to all of their channels as well. And if you like the content that I've made today and you haven't subscribed to my channel, hey, do that. And if you haven't watched all of my videos and you wanna see more, you can start with the video that I made last week. Link for that is on the screen right now. And that is where I actually created uh, some new potions for my potion shop and also started the golden egg hunt. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.